This one is an amazing bolo right here. Bought this from the Goodwill for $2. Hadn't researched when I bought it, so was surprised at the prices of the comps. I did list it a little lower than others, and it sold two days after I listed it. I'm Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money stuffed animals, plush items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. Um, I shared this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Share your best plush bolo. And if you guys are not in my Facebook group, definitely go and join it. It's in my link tree down below. Or you can just type in Bolo Buddies. Look for the group that has over 100,000 members in it. Once you join, go to the announcements section and you can share your best plush bolo or your best monthly bolo. And I will feature it in a video like this. So in this video, I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So the first item right here is, it says, I was trying to share a sold link, but I can't figure it out. Bought this guy at a garage sale for a dollar and sold him for full price of 99 plus shipping. Pretty cool bolo. Vintage Disney, big bad wolf, 15 inch plush with original tag. So bought it for a dollar. A dollar into a hundred. I mean, come on. Actually, it's 99, but you know, we'll just round up. All right. The next one here is this 2000 gunned design, large jumbo lion stuffed animal realistic. I recommend putting realistic in the title. If you guys want to learn more plush stuffed animals to be on the lookout for, there are a lot that go for over a hundred dollars. Type in Bolo Buddies plush and I will show you more that have sold for big money. I do lots of videos just like this. She said, I got this beautiful large gunned lion plush at a Goodwill at least a year ago. I remember another customer saw me looking at other plush, found this one and asked me if I wanted it. I don't remember what I paid for it since it was so long ago, but I'm guessing around $5.99. After research, I listed it high at $1.95 with interest, but never any takers. Ran sales with nothing, even with best offer option turned on. Finally, after all this time, someone purchased it at the sale price of 156 plus shipping. I knew he would eventually sell, just needed the right buyer at the right time. My store name is No Flippin' Way. Thanks, Courtney, for all you do. Yep. I always say patience, patience, patience. Now, you, she probably could have sold it quicker for $75, but she was patient and got the big money. Listed and forget it. Look at that big guy. It's a big guy. 36 inches. This is an ultra rare 1987 Thai classic plush, and it's one of the bigger ones. So this isn't your beanie baby. Bought this at a mission for 50 cents, sold for $74, and it looks like the buyer paid shipping. So it's a tie, and it's a cat. There you go. This one is a Gans Webkin Signature Bernice Mountain Dog Realistic Plush. Uh, let me show you the tag on the foot. I It's right here. So when it's gold, a lot of times those will sell for more. Not always. Not always. I've sold one, a Webkin's that was not gold. And it sold, I want to say for $90 or $100. It was one in one of my videos. But type in Webkin's Bolo Buddies into the YouTube search. And I've got a video on these. Paid $3.50 at Red Racks and sold for full asking price of $39.99 within 24 hours. So she maybe could have got more for that. Anything that sells in under 24 hours, I always wonder, could you have gotten more? Um, if you cannot find these items, uh, another one like it or comps or there's none listed, definitely try an auction. Neopets are also another good one to be on the lookout for. They do range from uh, big money to you know, bread and butter. This one sold for $30, paid $350 at Red Racks. I don't know what Red Racks is, maybe a thrift store. But this is a vintage Neopet and it still has the original tag. The little McDonald's ones will even sell as well. This one is a vintage Portal Cube plush by NECA. I have no idea what this is, but she said, got it free. Um, I think it had listed about four to six weeks, got it at a local thrift store on a day. I had a cart full of plush, 50% off. And three or four didn't have tags. So she said, I guess they ate, fr I guess they are free and tossed them in the bag. Okay, that's at a thrift store. Hmm, you don't hear that very often. Uh, usually they say, this does not have a price tag. And they say, we have to take it to the back. And it, I, I still don't know what this thing is. It's some sort of plush. $66.50 on Mercari. And I'll say it again. Plush sells great on Mercari. This is Retro Resale 167 who sold this. If you're not on Mercari, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join with that and another $20 
when you sell $100 worth of items on Mercari. And there are no selling fees over there now. So check that out. Um, basically, what Mercari has done is pass those selling fees on to the buyers, which kind of stinks for the buyer. Let me know what you guys think about the update down in the comments. Keep it nice, guys. I know not everybody agrees with it. Um, I just really want to know, are you still generating sales? Do you think things are worse or better? Let me know in the comments. Uh, paid a dollar, took a year to sell. I got from a yard sale making $33.99 on this plush. It's an applause Disney bear in the big blue house. Uh, definitely look up bear in the big blue house. If you search solds, you're going to see that there are a lot of these that go for big money. Uh, it's a great bolo. Uh, there's a little uh, character that also comes with it that sells for good money. So bear in the big blue house, look it up if you see it. Here's another Neopet. Bought it at the Goodwill for a dollar, sold for full price in five days. This is Kennedy Hippy Dippy Deals that sold this. And it looks like Chazzy Girl. And she sold it for, well, it says for, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Disregard. What happened here? Okay, I messed up. I'm sorry. This one also came from Red Racks. And took a best offer of 40 on this Neopet. And this is Chazzy Girl. This is the Care Bear. Sorry about that, guys. Um, this was Kennedy Hippy Dippy Deals. Dollar and sold in five days for $85. And it's the Pink Power Care Bear 25th Anniversary Breast Cancer Awareness. This is a Thai Pluffies. Um, I did a whole video on Pluffies. Type in Bolo Buddies Pluffies. Some of these will shock you. Uh, if you see these, pick them up. I have sold several Thai Pluffies Thai Lux, bought for a dollar, sold overnight for full price, $35. Kennedy Hippy Dippy Deals. And let me just show you, um, it does say Thai Lux right here on the tag. So if you see that, look that one up. These are not Beanie Babies, guys. This one is a vintage 1988 Prestige Toy Company Plush Circus Clown. How many of you would have walked past it? How many of you see these all the time at garage sales in the tote that say 25 cents, 50 cents, parents trying to sell their kids toys at garage sales? They have no idea that plush can be worth big money. She got this at the Goodwill for 50 cents, sold in a day for a best offer of 35. So 50 cents into 35, I'll take those margins all day long. Easy to list, easy to ship, easy to find. One more mohair bear was part of an online auction bundle for $15, sold overnight for asking price of $85. Kennedy Hippie Dippy Deals. Mohair. Look at that. This next one is a Hug Fun Teddy Bear. A soft toy plush stuffed animal sold on Poshmark for $40. So yes, you can sell plush on Poshmark. There is even a category for it. She said, I think I paid three for this plush hug fun bear. He was big. And I learned from this group that big plush sells. I also recall that the rebel reseller talks about hug fun. I figured I'd give it a go. I was asking 50, took a best offer of 40. It took less than a month to sell. And the buyer was thrilled. So these big stuffed animals, what you do is you like have to really squish them down, take the air out of the bag and you can either box them or poly mail them. It's up to you. That one was 28 inches. So not huge. This one is an amazing bolo right here. Bought this from the Goodwill for $2. Hadn't researched when I bought it, so was surprised at the prices of the comps. I did list it a little lower than others, and it sold two days after I listed it. I may have been able to hold out and get a higher price, but I am more than happy with this, and the buyer is not keeping... I am more than happy with this, and the buyer is not keeping for their collection, has room to list it, and possibly make a decent profit. The others listed are 220 to 300 she sold it for 198. Yes, this is a vintage Manhattan toy company. These dinosaurs, for some reason, are really, really collectible. So if you see one, um, definitely pick it up. Manhattan toy company. And this one is the Stegosaurus. The next item is this um, Bunnies by the Bay large plush cat, Miss Kitty, 28 inch cowgirl, 1986. This one was sold by Toy Addict. She is also on YouTube. Check her out. She is fabulous. She said, I won a bunch of artists and vintage bears on high bid auction. I paid an average of $4 each. This tall plush cat sold for $85. I listed high because I saw someone, maybe Rebel Reseller, sell a similar Bunnies by the Bay plush for a high price. It sat for several months, but happy to get $85. The highest worth point for was $40. I love to beat worth point. 
So yeah, she has worth point, which I also have worth point and I love it. I do have a video, um, type in Bolo Buddies worth point, how it works. And it, I will show you how to use worth point to make more money. It will pay for itself uh, because you're going to learn what things sell for. But what she did is she looked at worth point and she went higher and still sold it for more. How to train your dragon rescue riders Argo or agro plush dra dragon. Got this guy at the Goodwill bins for 30 cents and it sold a few days for, for asking price of 75 plus shipping. The gold princess. And there you have it. How to train your dragon. Oh my goodness. It's seven inches, you guys. Would you have ever guessed that, that would go for $75? Get out of town. This is a Webkins Gans gray tabby cat. Listed on 416, sold on 422. Listed for 50 plus shipping, took an offer of 40 plus shipping. Sold on Mercari, so no fees taken out on my side. Bought at the Goodwill for $2.99. Buyer was really sweet, not a Webkins collector. She has cats and said it's hard to find stuffed cats that are the same color as her cats. She rated as soon as she got the package. Davidson Resale. So yeah, sometimes it's just a matter of somebody wanting something that looks like their cat. But Webkins can definitely be a bolo. But good keywords in the title is going to help you sell your item. $40 on Mercari. This is a Scooby-Doo um, uh, golf club cover. Another thing that you can put in the title is puppet. I know it's not a puppet, but you could definitely use it as a puppet. Picked up at a thrift store for a dollar and sold for $45.01. This one comes from Childhood Finds. She's also on YouTube. Check her out. She has awesome what sold videos. Same with Toy Attic. You're going to love both those channels. Uh, they're fabulous. This one is a Disney Lilo and Stitch or Lilo and Stitch. I can't remember how you say it. It's also a hand puppet. And the mouth moves. Was surprised by this one. Picked it up at $1.99 at a Goodwill and sold for full asking price in a week of $49.95. Also from Childhood Finds. This is not a stuffed animal. So Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle was moving her listings from the plush over to the actual April Bolo post and she forgot this one and it's too good not to share. It is H-O-R-E-Z-U. I don't know how to say that. Romanian folk art pottery, handmade dish, set with mug, sign, dated 2002. It's gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. Free to me, my favorite items to sell. Took a bit to do the research, but it sure did pay off. Uh, follow uh, Noelle on Instagram, eBay, YouTube, Facebook, and whatnot. She said, thanks for being the coolest person ever. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm the coolest person ever, but thanks, Noelle. Uh, she said, sold for $136.70. Oops, my phone just glitched. That was weird. Well, I can't even find it now. Huh, it's gone. I don't know. $136.70, and I think the buyer paid shipping. So you guys head over and share your best plush bolo in the Facebook group. Again, it's under the announcements. Um, I love seeing the plush that sells. So there's share your best May Bolo and share your best plush Bolo. If you guys want to do a, this is my Bolo video. It's a 60 second video. You hold your video, uh, your phone landscape style, and you just record yourself talking about a Bolo item you sold. Or if you don't want to be on the camera, you can just put it on the item and talk about it, where you got it, what you paid for it, what it sold for. Also shout out your YouTube channel, your whatnot, um, platforms you sell on, like advertise yourself uh, in the video, share your bolo. It's a fun way to get your name out there, your store out there, and to help others learn. And then I'll share that in a video like this. I'll just kind of incorporate them in. I used to do, this is my bolo videos. You can type in, this is my bolo, bolo buddies, and you can see those videos. They're awesome. It's just a bunch of resellers sharing bolo items. But now I'm just going to incorporate them into these videos. So send it to me on Instagram or Facebook, and I'll share it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.